Hello, Dr. G here from naturalfoodsdiet.org. Are you cooking yourself to death? Well, you likely are, but by the end of this video, you'll have the information to slow down the aging process and the early death and disease that accelerated aging causes. When working with my health coaching clients, I often evaluate how people cook their food. If you're like me, you might remember back to when you were in the third grade and there was this geeky kid who sat in the front row and his sandwiches had the crust misting. I don't know if his mother cut them off or if he cut them off. Now, if you're that kid, I'm not making fun of you. You are actually doing the right thing. You see, when we cook our food, there's a process where the sugar gets bound to other molecules that are contained in the food. And this includes proteins, fats, and nucleic acids, which are part of DNA, or the genetic material. This reaction forms what are called advanced glycation end products, and we abbreviate that AGEs. Numerous studies show that AGEs impact our health in a negative way. The amount of AG AGEs contained in the white part of bread is about 11 milligrams per kilogram. Now the crust of the bread though contains 37 milligrams per kilogram. So you see the kid in the front row was a genius. Now to give you a better idea about the explosion in research related to this topic, if we go back to 1970, there were no studies of AGEs. And today there are thousands of published studies, so we have good evidence of the potential harm of these compounds. Animal studies have shown that when you add these compounds to the diets of rats and rabbits, they age faster. Human studies have shown elevated levels of a major AGE, and that's carboxymethylysine, CML. It's been shown to correlate with artery stiffness, kidney disease, anemia, poor muscular strength, decreased physical performance, and increased cardiovascular and all-cause mortality. AGEs have been found in the neurofibrillary tangles and senile plaques of Alzheimer's disease. They've been found in incre increased levels in things like cataracts and in the retina of people that have macular degeneration. They're increased in a fatty liver disease. There's elevated levels in people with kidney failure. And they also correlate to bone diseases like osteoporosis. They're found in increasing amounts in dysfunctional muscles and tendons. Now, a short-term clinical trial in humans comparing a steam diet to a diet cooked with the typical high temperature methods that fast food companies use like deep frying and, and broiling and grilling, increased the CML. It also decreased insulin sensitivity. It increased the cholesterol and triglycerides. Now, a study in animals showed that a reduction of the AGEs by 50% of the usual intake significantly decreased oxidative stress and it produced less insulin resistance uh, it lowered the kidney function decline, and the animals lived much longer. I feel this is enough evidence for everyone out there to take action. Now, there's two things you can do. One is cut out processed foods, and fast foods, and pasteurized foods, and high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup sweetened beverage are high in AGEs. Now, any food that's fried or deep fried will have much higher AGEs. Broiling, or actually boiling, stewing, and steaming is much better. Now as an example, a chicken that's broiled will have seven times more AGEs than a chicken that's boiled. So boil your dang chicken. Now for those of you that eat at McDonald's, the broiled chicken is about like a chicken McNugget, so not good. The Costco broiled chicken has got to go, people. 
Now the same is true for broiled beef. Now if you must have broiled or barbecued meat, there is a trick to lowering the AGEs. Marinate it for an hour in lemon and vinegar, and this has been shown to significantly lower AGEs. The best cooking methods to reduce AGEs are poaching, stewing, steaming, and boiling. And all these cooking methods have in common a lower heat, less than 300 degrees. And above 300 causes more AGEs. And also moisture content is important. The more moisture, the less AGEs are produced. Okay, so here's the scenario. You go to Uncle Bob's and he just made the 4th of July hamburgers. But because he was monitoring the fireworks display, at the same time he was grilling the burgers, they got crispied or burnt. Now you can insult Uncle Bob and refuse to eat them or you could carry an antidote that reduces the damage to your body. Research has shown that taking 1,000 milligrams of carnosine and or a couple of hundred milligrams of benfotiamine or benfotiamine and 100 milligrams of pyridoxal 5-phosphate can inhibit glycation reactions. That's what AGEs are. Now, one thing I didn't talk about today is the convincing evidence that overcooking meat also plays a role in cancer causation. And that will be the topic of our next discussion. And that means you'll need a few more supplements to counteract Uncle Bob's burnt burgers. This is Dr. G. Thanks for watching and please share this with someone you want to be healthy and live a long time.